All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on a Sunday. Now, this is just going to be an unboxing. Now, as you guys know from the title, you know what this watch is, but I'm going to need some time with this watch to kind of get it figured out. Um, I, I think I know pretty much how everything works on it, but it's going to take me a little bit of time. We are going to use the TOPS ALRTXL for the unboxing of this watch. So let's go ahead and do that. If you guys are interested in this knife, I did just push a video out, I think just a couple of days ago. Forgive me for all the shaking. This is just a big, kind of an overkill box, I would assume, because I don't think the watch is this big. So let's go ahead and get this open and check it out. Now, lots of paper. Lots of paper. Jeez, too much paper. Uh, like nine feet worth of paper. So, okay, down there in the bottom of the box, I'll move that because it's got my invoice in there. Now, as you guys can see, it's from a company we all love to see here on the channel. So uh, I don't want to show you guys the reference number yet on this, but I think you guys already know what this is. Now, cool watch. I've been wanting to check these out for quite a while when they had the Black Friday sale. And they were doing 25% discount on everything across the site. I did pick one of these up. Now, I picked it up right from Seiko, so I'm probably in the box here. going to have all of the original stuff, the uh, Seiko warranty, I would assume. Probably somewhere in here. Um, let's check that out. So, yeah, limited warranty and instructions. And, yeah, there's the card in the back of the package. And it's ready for me to fill out. No one signed it. I filled it out. That's great. Like I said, I did buy this watch directly from Seiko USA. So, all right, guys, let's check it out. This is in the newer style prospects box, like they're doing the new SKXs in, or kind of similar style, uh, less packaging. That's what uh, Seiko's really going for with these. And let's check it out. All right, guys, so yeah, I ended up picking up one of the solar digital tunas, the Digi Tuna, I guess they're calling it. And uh, I just, I've really wanted to check one of these out. Now let's go ahead and peel the plastic off so we don't get too much reflection. I don't know if that's gonna help or make it worse. Kind of this negative display. There's just a whole lot I like about this watch. You guys know I'm a big Seiko fan. Um, I have my SNE, I think it's the 537, uh, the golden tuna reissue and this is I think I, did I call this a turtle it's a tuna it's a tuna style watch tuna can style watch with that big round uh, surface now it's lightweight I can tell you that I do believe that this is all um, a composite material here on the case looks like it does have uh, pierced lugs there so you can do strap changes pretty easily but very lightweight very much like a g-shock um, this is a big boy. This watch comes in at 49 millimeters side to side, pretty much the same distance. So that's nice there. It's exactly the same uh, size. Kind of like your bigger, uh, you know, range man and whatnot from Casio G-Shock series. So this is a really cool looking watch. Show you guys the hang tag and reference number on this one here. That's the rest. suggested retail price. Like I said, I got a discount because it was the Black Friday special. It does have a, does it have a rotating bezel? I thought the bezel rotated on this. I guess it doesn't rotate. You just use it for um, keeping track of time with the running seconds there around the outside. See those little dots there? So I thought you could actually turn the bezel to get it in place, but I guess you can't. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to spend some time with this watch, play with this watch, and give me about, I don't know, give me about a week or two, and I will get a full review video up and my, my full thoughts on this watch. But so far, I absolutely love the looks of this piece. I think it's a really cool looking watch. Um, you know, there's going to be some things I think I'm going to have to get used to. I've looked at a lot of videos on the watch as far as light, the tap for the light on the uh, crystal. But right now I'm really excited with it, especially at the price I got it for with that 25% discount. So guys, no loom shot or anything like that. We're going to go out with, actually, let's look at this. I, I got up to make the video and I'm the naked wrist this morning. I don't have a watch on. So let's go ahead and just throw this on the wrist. Let's see what it looks like. I've seen I've seen other videos of people, you know, showing this watch and getting it on the wrist. And so I've got a seven inch wrist, guys. We'll see what it looks like. And I'm trying to do this without removing all these hang tags, which is going to be not so easy. And I think I got a little bit too tight there. But it's a beast. It's a beast. It makes my... Uh, it makes my golden tuna actually look kind of small in comparison, but because it's lightweight, it, it, it's not cumbersome at all. Uh, very lightweight to wear. This composite material they're using for the case is actually working real good. So, all right, guys, give me about a week or two. I'll get this watch figured out, and we'll get a full review of it up here on the OFD channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.